Hey everybody and welcome back to Midtown USA. We are uh, day two of summer and uh, we need to uh, get some water to our sheep and our cows before we head out there to the hay fields. Our cows and sheep are drinking substantially more water now that we are into summer. Uh, as a frame of reference, before in spring we could go through a uh, a trailer of water um, in about three days for both animals. Wouldn't really need to uh, refill. But now that we are in summer, as you can see, we need more than one trailer load of water just for the cows alone. Let's go ahead and fill that up. Open our gate. Love these remote gates. Very helpful when you have a, uh, a remote gate opener. Thankfully, the sheep area is not too muddy. Not like the, uh, not like the, uh, um, cow area is. See? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. I will, uh, go ahead and, uh, close this gate. See it closing in the mirrors, very good. And this water should uh, top off our cows. Run the mud too terrible quick. All right. Someone lined up on our opening. All right. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna take this water barrel and uh, put it back in the shed. And we're gonna go ahead and hook back up to a rake. And I'll be back with you once we get everything over to the, uh, over to the uh, hay fields. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, as I alluded to yesterday, uh, we are going to record a new course um, for our grass. Now, we are going to, uh, sadly be, uh, kind of destroying some of the grass, uh, when we do this, but, uh, there's not much we can, I guess we could mow. What the heck? We might as well just, uh, might as well mow it while we are, uh, recording the course. That, that'll, uh, right, for the field boundaries. That'll save the grass because we're going to be, uh, mowing it. We're going to actually define the field boundaries a little bit bigger than they actually are. We're going to go ahead and go in here and we're going to pick, um, start recording a course. Start our mowers up. And we're going to go as straight as we can this way. Yeah. 
And when we get to the bottom, we're going to uh, pause and turn 90 degrees and go as straight as we can all the way down to the edge of the map. Let's see here. Let's, let's do this. We want to pause and let's lift our mowers. Get lined up. Best we can. Let's fire up GPS and set that. Let's lower our mowers back. Let's unpause the course. Actually, that's not a pause. Dang on it. Go and set off. Now we're going. All right. That's what we wanted to do. Now we're not going. We're not going to hug the tree line super close. We are still off the edge of the map a little bit. to stay off the edge of the field but we also want to uh, stay a decent width off of the trees uh, just to keep from having things get hung up on them and what we're going to do is we're basically defining a new field 19 and 18 we're going to define it and basically make it a uh, custom field definition Adjust the course slightly to account for these rocks. Now it's going to look a little odd because we're driving through these tall um, weeds that aren't going away, but uh, at any rate, we we'll just have to uh, we we'll just have to live with that for a little bit. back and then we'll pause the course when we get the other edge of the field there uh, we'll go up the shore length and then we'll come back and we'll have ourselves a full um, we'll define the new edge boundaries of the new field this way. And then we're going to set off our mower um, using the new field boundaries to mow the field. Uh, we'll set off after a little bit the uh, tether rake to do the same course. And uh, then we will come along and uh, we'll do the bailing manually. We could also, if we were in a pinch, um, set the baler and the um, stacker on the exact same course play course and basically have them all running uh, the same course. So we're not really going to cut a 90. What we're going to do is we're just going to Do a big old turn here. And let's see if we can adjust this course a little bit. Oops. There we 
go. Didn't really want to do that abrupt turn there, but at any rate. This particular side of the field, or side of the new course, is going to be a little odd because the road does cut in there a little bit. Field 18 is slightly shifted north uh, as far as its northern boundary compared to the uh, part of field uh, 19. Just rotate the course this way a little bit. Then when we get over here, we will rotate the course back. Like so. We'll unlock the course so we can make this turn. And then we're just gonna drive the rest of this manually. So, turn GPS off, we don't need that anymore. We're going to come up uh, right here at about this point, and we will um, stop the course. We're going to save this and we're going to call it um, field 18 plus plus 19. New field boundary. Let's call it new field. Alright, so let's turn off our mowers. We don't need that noise. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick um, field work. I'm going to currently loaded course. We do our working width, and we're going to do uh, um, north east. Right? It's the north east corner, and we want to go um, let's just do this. Try current position automatic. Let's do uh, two headlands and let's see what that course looks like. Oh, it's interesting. Upper course, and see what happens. All right, so I guess we can't do that with a defined course. So let's just do um, northeast, and let's do west, and let's do two headlands. Let's see how that looks. Right. Uh, let's go waypoint and do that. Let's see here. I should save this. Field eighteen plus. 19 
power. Alright. So let's just see how this guy gets on for a little bit. Alright, so our mower has uh, done one full um, lap of the uh, of the field. And uh, everything looks pretty good. Took a look at the uh, course while he was uh, driving it. And there, there can be a little bit of an issue with some of the... Uh, way they're driving so it's probably best that we not uh... oh that's not it go so it's probably best that we not um... start to mow or start to bail until these guys are well, well done. I guess he's not in the right mood. Oh, not in the right mood. Back him up. Of course, oh, we can ride along with him. Watch this cool rake and tether work. We'll obviously have to come by and pick up some of this on the outskirts. Uh, that is not being picked up due to us mowing as we were defining the field. But uh, I love this rake in Tedder. Uh, the animations are really cool on it. And it windrows and Ted's at the exact same moment, cutting down on the uh, amount of time that we need to spend on the field. So he's running at 14. Uh, the mower's running at uh, well, he's running at 15, I guess. The mower's running at a shade under 14. So I think there should be enough gap uh, that we won't have to worry about these guys uh, catching up to each other. I'm going to let them go ahead and uh, do the majority of this field uh, before I uh, get to bailing. Uh, so off camera, I'm going to go ahead and get the semi and bring it down here and stage that while these guys are busy doing their thing. So I'll be right back with you. Alright, so it is five o'clock and uh, I think the uh, the mower and the tether are far enough ahead that we'll be able to uh, get started here without too much problems. Let's go ahead and unfold our uh, put our stacker in working position. Unfold our baler, let's lower the pickup, and let's start it up. Now let's switch over to our stacker. Now I am going to use um, the auto pickup trailer to uh, pick these bales up, but I still am going to use the auto stacker, simply so we don't have bales scattered all over the field, but we'll have nice stacks of four. See how much of the field that they've already mowed and, and windrowed and tedded. One of the reasons why we kind of got started late in um, in bailing is that the course play course has them kind of doubling back right here in this this particular area. So I didn't want to uh, have them running over bales, so we just kind of delayed in our um, our bailing of this area. What we're going to do is basically try to get us. Oops, let's load this thing before we have a catastrophe. There we go. Yep. So, what we're going to do is uh, 
try to get as much of this baled up before midnight uh, so we don't lose our grass. Uh, we have no uh, real threat of rain, at least immediate threat of rain. Uh, so if we don't get the bales picked up until tomorrow, that's fine. It should be okay. It shouldn't rain on them. At least hopefully it doesn't. And if it does, uh, if it does look like it's going to be raining before we can get them in the shed, we can still store those bales in the uh, on the trailer in the big shed. Hopefully. So we're not getting a giant yield off of this field, which is fine. Uh, but we should get enough bales off of this field to uh, to more than feed our pig, or not our pigs, but our sheep and our cows for the uh, for the coming um, coming summer, or basically for the coming year. Depending on what our yield looks like, we may uh, we may come through and and Ted and Windrow this uh, grass here on the outside edge, or we just may leave it be. Our rake is not really caught up to the uh, to the baler. Been able to adequately stay ahead of uh, the baler. There we go. Uh, if you like that rake, uh, you got that rake over at American Eagles Modding. And the uh, mowers are uh, the Coon Butterfly Mower and the Coon Front Mower from um, the in-game mod hub. Of course, the bale stacker and the baler are also from the in-game mod hub. The uh, trailer that we're using over there, the flatbed trailer, that is also from American Eagles Modding. I think it holds, uh, I think it might hold 42 uh, square bales. And what's, uh, what's really nice about that trailer is, other than the front, where it is uh, slightly elevated, uh, the rest of the uh, oh, oh, oh. there we go. It's a little slow on that. I wanted to uh, wanted to be careful that I didn't uh, that I didn't unload that before we got to the raked area because the course play driver would completely annihilate that stack of bales if we uh, if we left it there. So other than the uh, the elevated part up front where it stacks three high, the back part of the trailer it will make four high stacks, uh, which will work perfect for the uh, the telehandler forks that I like to use that uh, can grab four high bales or bale stacks that are four high. We need to be careful when we make these turns where we grab that grass that we're not going to uh, end a bale and basically cause a bale to be, uh, be made of grass. 
Uh, but beyond that, it would be fine uh, basically picking up a little grass as long as it's in the middle of a bale. Like I don't want to grab it there. That is too dangerously close to being a bale. Since we're playing with seasons, we don't really have to worry about the uh, the little bits, the leftover bits that are on the uh, field. They will be long gone by the time we get around to uh, harvesting this field again. So we'll just swing on around here. Oh, it should be just about done. Oops. Load that again. So guys, I'm just going to leave you here, and uh, like I said, we're going to finish baling this field up, and uh, we'll collect the bales either today or tomorrow. So if you liked the video, please consider clicking the like button. If you're not a subscriber, uh, please go ahead and click subscribe, uh, that way you'll get notifications of upcoming content. Uh, we're going to do a play series on Midtown USA every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, hopefully, at least that's going to be the intended schedule. And uh, we do map videos every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, usually. So until next time, guys, happy farming. <laughs>